Hey guys, it's day two of the vlog. Currently, the time now is at eleven ten. <laughs> we plan on leaving the accommodation at ten. Yeah, and yeah, now it's eleven ten, and yeah, yeah. Then how many times you still show up? Yeah, then how many times you still show up? Yeah, then we need to we need to we need to document it down, lah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just now I was like washing up, saying so my oh what, the basin. The water, really? no heat turn. Really, really, really. <laughs> I push all the way to the, the heat to the maximum. You, you first time rank up, right? I, I push all the way. I push all the way to the maximum. <laughs> my my hands <laughs> freezing. The water is freezing cold. Hey, then, yeah, I thought somebody off the heater, but I didn't know that you can off the heater. Then it came out. Then there's this there's this guy like he say the aircon the aircon is on. He wanted to off la. so he just went to. You want show them what you off lah? Yeah, he. Oh, you know off this one. Uh. Yeah, but on. <laughs> he said this aircon. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but then I don't know lah. Uh, got aircon remote control here also lah. Uh. <laughs> then the aircon the, in the first place the aircon not even on. <laughs> so he went off. Then then now uh, he on the he off the heater lah. Uh. He off the water heater. Then now we freezing cold. <laughs> is, it, is it warm already? <laughs> Later we'll be going to the Tu Sochon Sanggitang. Uh, it's a pretty famous like Sanggitang restaurant here in uh, Seoul. Uh, I've went there once before. It's pretty. It's a pretty hearty meal, and uh, it's a very good meal in the winter because the the soup is like very very hot, very warm. You can warm the cockles of your heart. Then uh, yeah, then we we'll go there to to have our late breakfast, brunch, yeah, or whatever lah. To then, chels. Hi guys, we are now on our way to to uh, Chon Samgye Tang. Yeah, to have our late uh, brunch. Yeah, and the weather today is is similar to yesterday, and I think it's slightly less cold. I don't know is it because we're more used to it or not lah, but it's slightly. That's really uh, it's slightly better than yesterday. La. Yeah, yesterday was uh, maybe a bit colder because we weren't as prepared. La. Yeah, then now we're heading over to the subway. And yeah, we'll catch you guys when we're there later. Samgyetang now we are queuing up and there's uh, there's a pretty long queue. I don't know if you can see. But yeah. Uh, not sure how this queue will take. But uh, yeah, hopefully we are, we are quite hungry so hopefully we will get a go in soon. So the Sanggetang they got give like the kimchi which is the, the, the common food that the Koreans always give in restaurants then they go give this a special one this is the ginseng soju and this is for us to warm our body in the winter especially so it will be like really sh shook Now we are heading over to Gyeongbokgung, Gyeongbok Palace. It's within walking distance, so we are just going to walk there and burn some, burn some calories that we have gained from the meal. It's a pretty good meal overall. 
we all had a very good time there and our stomachs are feeling very happy yeah, so now we are stopping here for a quick uh, coffee coffee break because yeah, my friends he is feeling a bit dizzy because he haven't had his coffee today then while we are waiting maybe I, I can tell you guys more about Gyeongbokgung yeah, so Gyeongbok Palace is actually well, built in 1395 eh. Wow, that's like how many years already? Seven, it's 600 plus years of, of history over there. That's that's pretty marvelous. Huh? Yeah, and yeah, we are going there to, to witness the 600 plus years of, of uh, tradition, structure, of their. Wow, like every, everybody that you can believe, like all the Joseon dynasty people living there. Wow, the, the thought of it just. Wow, it, it makes my heart tingle, you know. Can't wait to be there. Yeah, we'll now just wait for our friend to finish his coffee break and we'll continue our road down to Kyomako. So after a meal, we need to have some desserts, right? So I got this uh, I got this chocolate croffle. That's, that's pretty good uh, yeah, but also this is probably the reason why I'm fat. <laughs> after a meal eat cups, wow. Oh, nice, nice bro. You're gonna burn it off anyway. <laughs> Korea's cockles are different. Eh? Mm. It's pretty good. Mm. Let me show you the view that I'm looking while I'm walking and eating. Look at this. I think you'll find it. This is superb, bro. This is awesome, man. We have finally reached Gyeongbokgung. Yeah, and now we are going to enter Gyeongbokgung. Yeah, this, this open field area is free of charge. Anybody can just come in, it's for the public. And over there is the ticketing counter. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yes. Uh, we'll be heading over there because uh, we are not dressed in the hanbok. So we will have to pay an uh, entrance fee, but if you come just in Hamburg, yeah, the entrance fee is free, you can just walk in. Because they, they like that, you actually think about their local culture. And because this is built since 1395, people who wear Hamburg are like considered, wow, they, they really appreciate Korea tradition and culture and history. So they allow them to just go in for free. Yep, so if you want to come down here, Definitely come in a humble because I, I didn't because uh, yeah I didn't uh. <laughs> I don't wanna <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't wanna I see many people in humble it looks super pretty you know super pretty awesome superb cool and fascinating yeah so yeah we'll come down and have a try and after entering I will show you around the area. Have la? What's the Korean name for that? Da Chang Jing. Bro. Okay, Dae Chong Jong. <laughs> wow, look at this. This amazing place built since 1395. Can you imagine the dynasty, Joseon dynasty emperor oh, walking down this street and you're walking it too? You ever aspire to be like them? Or you can't because it's not 1395 anymore. After studying and, and making all the commands, right, the, the emperor will tend to be a bit tired, so he will want to come for a walk. So it's within walking distance uh, from his palace to here. You're about to witness a miracle. Wow, not yet. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, Gyeonghui Ru. Gyeonghui Ru. We finished walking around Gyeongbokgung, now we are heading to Mochong Hanok. 
Central Hello is very near to Gyeongbokgung. You can just exit and a side exit and you can head down to Buchong Hano. And this Buchong Hano village is like a alley where people, like their locals actually stay at. So it's best not to make like too much noise around there because it's like their residential area. Yeah and yeah and that's a place where many tourists go down to to sightsee, and keep left. take photo left, left, left. and yeah just experience like how, how it is like for a traditional alley. <laughs> You're getting the choice. Hmm. Ne. Ne. Can she need a bit of a tea? Like a Lucky, handsome. lucky, handsome, <laughs> cheerful, kind. <laughs> the climbing for a while. We finally reached Buchong Hano. We gotta look at this. You get in my face. <laughs> yeah, so this, this is a hot dog and I don't know, I've never seen a hot dog so big before. So yeah. The outside is outside is quite crispy. Eh? Mm, but the inside like not a lot of feeling it. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Big on you. Hello guys, so now we are in Yuan and we are just going to walk around and find for any uh, places to have for our dinner and yeah, we are just going to walk around because we don't have any uh, food places in mind just walk around and uh, see which restaurant comes to mind Right now we are at the Dam Bang. Uh, this is where the, the drama Video One Class was filmed. Yeah, and this was the new Dam Bang, if I'm not wrong. And the new one is pretty small. The old one, the one brought more nostalgia memories. Yeah, but this is this was fun as well. This proposal they have this like fried chicken restaurant owned by the female Lee Shinhari which is Kim Sejong 
and the chicken breast is good ne? so now we are going there to try if it's really good ne? Yep. okay we are climbing up slopes again Korea is just Korea is just walking up slopes after slopes eh? oh, nice exercise love it and the best part is you don't sweat yep we found it Yes. Oh no, they only have it for delivery only, takeaway only. So the Gupne plan was a scrap because the Gupne chicken they only allow delivery and takeaway. So now we are heading to another chicken shop which is Kyochon Chicken. And this one is uh, Kyochon Chicken Dongdaemun number one. They say it's the best Kyochon chicken outlet. I don't know. We just reached Long Newman Station. Now we are going up to see uh, to find the restaurant and to see if there's queue and we can faster eat. Now we are heading back to our accommodation already and yeah this is the end of day two. So yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog as much as I enjoyed making them. So 